Good morning students. I am Akanksha. I am going to teach you computer of full standard and the first chapter is computer devices, memory and storage. In this chapter we will learn about the different type of computer devices, memories and storage devices. For example, input devices and output devices, processing devices and storage devices primary and secondary memory, application of computers, internal and external memory and primary and secondary storage devices. But first of all we should know what is a computer. So children, computer is an electronic machine that makes our work easy and fast. Or we can say computer is an electronic machine that can store organize and find information and do calculations means we can store as many things as we want on a computer like pictures song videos movies games etc and we can find information on different topics by using internet and the computer can do calculations also for us a computer works on data and information that we feed into it means a computer does not work on its own it needs data to work on it suppose if you want to add 2 plus 2 so we have to give this data to the computer then only it will give us the answer 4 now there are various parts in a computer that help it to do a lot of tasks and activities and give us the desired output or result. So children like other machines, computer also having different parts which makes the work easy and fast. So the main four, there are main four type of devices that make a computer work. First is input device input device means we are giving something to the computer input means we are giving something to the computer so input devices are used to enter data or information into the computer some of the commonly input devices are first one is keyboard all you all have seen keyboard a keyboard is a used to type the data into the computer using various keys. When we type any key of a compute of a keyboard, it will enter the alphabet or the number what we have typed into the computer. Next input device is mouse. A mouse is a device to draw things and select items and text on a computer. When we want to draw anything, we have to use mouse. And mouse also select items and text also on a computer. Next is joystick. Joystick is used to play games on a computer. This is also an input device. Next is microphone. Microphone is used to record sounds and music in the computer. If you want to record your sound, your voice in the computer, you need a microphone. By using microphone, you can record this, your sound or any other sound or music in the computer. Next input device is scanner. Scanner is used to copy pictures and documents so that they can be stored in a computer. Suppose if you have a photo or a picture on a paper and you, you want that picture in your computer. So you have to use scanner to copy that picture into the computer. Light pen. You might have seen the light pen also. The light pen is also an input device because we used to type or draw directly it by it on the screen. Now the next type of devices are 
output devices output devices allow us to show the output or result of the work performed by a computer output means we are getting something from the computer so the devices which provide the output to us they those are called output devices and the first one is monitor monitor also called video video means visual display unit it displays data on the screen next is printer printer is used to take print on paper next is speaker speakers are the set of two boxes used to listen to music sound speech etc the next type of output device is plotter it is a device that convert data from a computer into a graph usually on paper plotter is also a type of printer but also it also convert data into a graph printer doesn't convert any data into graph or anything but plotter can convert data into graph so now the next type of device is processing device the cpu box is the processing unit of a computer where all calculations are done to get desired output you have seen cpu along with the computer that cpu box that cpu box is the processing unit processing unit means the all the work, all work done by the computer takes place here only the cpu or the central processing unit is present inside the cpu box the cpu is the brain of the computer and is often known as microprocessor the cpu is also called the full form of cpu is central processing unit and it is also called the brain of the computer why it is called the brain of the computer because all the work done by the computer takes place in the cpu only and the cpu has three parts first is alu alu means arithmetic and logic unit whatever the calculation part is done by the computer is done in the alu which is present where inside the cpu box next is cu cu or you can say control unit it controls actions of the computer and tells other part of computer what they have to do means it has the control on all the parts of the computer next is mu mu means memory unit whatever we are storing anything is stored in the memory unit and it is store the data and the information but it does not store any data or information permanently it is it is store temporarily temporarily means for small time now see this inside view of the cpu box it has three unit first one is arithmetic and logic unit next is control unit and memory unit next topic is data storage unit data storage unit means where we the things where we store our data the human brain performs the function of thinking processing and storing ideas facts ideas facts means data or information in the same way the computer has a brain that controls store and deliver data and information as and when required like we are having brain we use our brain to perform any work for example thinking if we want to store any idea where we store the ideas in our brain in the same way computer also use its brain to do any work like storing anything or to deliver any data or information and the brain of the computer is cpu cpu means central processing unit 
now next is memory now what is memory memory is the that part of computer where the data is stored and the unit of measurement of computer memory is byte we measure the computer memory in byte now see this table 8 bit is equals to 1 byte 1024 bytes is equals to 1 kilobyte or you can say kb 1024 kb means kilobyte is equals to 1 megabyte 1024 mb mb means megabyte is equals to 1 gigabyte 1024 gb gb means gigabyte is equals to 1 terabyte 1024 terabyte is equals to 1 petabyte See, every computer has a main memory and this memory is having two parts, primary memory and secondary memory. Now look at this memory chart. Memory is divided into two parts, primary or internal memory and secondary or external memory. Primary memory is further divided into two parts, RAM and ROM. And secondary, divide, secondary memory is divided into three parts, floppy disk, hard disk, CD or DVD. Now first see primary memory. Prime, the primary memory is kept on silicon chips and is fixed on the circuit board. It is also called the internal memory. See children, primary memory is always fixed inside the computer inside the circuit board that's why it is called the internal memory and this memory is of two type first is ram ram or you can say random access memory the full form of ram is random access memory the information stored on this memory is erased when the computer is switched off means when we switch off the computer and if we again switch on the computer we are not able to see the previous memory the best example is a calculator a calculator is the best example of ram the information exists till the calculator is on as soon as we turn off the calculator data get erased next is room ROM or refers to read only memory. Read only as the name suggests you can just read this memory. You cannot write or you cannot add anything here. You just read here. Read only memory that holds the inbuilt information. Inbuilt information means which are previously built in the computer. It consists of instructions and programs fed by the manufacturer to simplify the working of computer operator. We cannot record data on ROM. Read, only read from it. Now the next type of memory is secondary memory. The secondary memory is used to store data for a long period of time. Also called the external memory. It is required because the primary memory is not sufficient to store large, large amount of information. Why we need secondary memory? Because the primary memory is not having enough space to store more information. So we need the secondary memory. Now these are some storage devices which are used to store large amount of data. In everyday life, we use many storage devices like Almira, cupboard, locker, etc. to store things. In the same way, a computer uses CDs, USB flash drive, DVDs, etc. for storage of data. Now see these storage devices. First one is USB flash drive or you can say pen drive also is a small storage device used to carry data 
or transport file from one computer to another. You all have used pen drive. What what is used? It is used for it is used to store the data and we can also transport the files from one computer to another computer. Next storage device is CD. CD refers to compact disc. The full form of CD is compact disc and the full form of DVD is digital video disc. And they can also store a large amount of data. The next is multimedia card. This multimedia card is also a storage device and this card is small in size and is available in different storage capacity. Means it comes in different size. You can choose any size for this multimedia card and whatever the capacity it has having it can store the data as per its capacity. Now there is an assignment for you. You have to draw pictures of input and output devices. Next you have to write down the full forms of CPU, CD, DVD, RAM, ROM, ELU, MU and CU. Just find out the full forms from the video and write it down. Next is you have to make memory chart. Children you have to do this assignment in a copy and learn it and we will continue the chapter in the next video.